Hi, welcome to my tutorial on the quest system for timed events uh, such as survival and defending an asset and how to trigger the defeat message when you fail those quests. So we'll jump straight in and bring up our rules which is where our quests are created and we'll go ahead and add a quest. We're just going to name this timed event and we'll put here survive 10 seconds. Uh, we'll make it auto unlock, um, auto unlock, and we'll make this one a timer, and we'll just make it 10 seconds and to survive. Uh, we'll auto complete if you do survive for 10 seconds, and a message that gets sent out. Um, you can't scroll down uh, with the first quest, you need to click add quest, uh, and then you can collapse the second quest you just made, and now you can see that. So we can go ahead and put, say, quest dot one dot complete so when your quest completes it sends a message uh, and we want to survive for 10 seconds so we'll go ahead and put an enemy down um, anything will do so let me just bring that up just put down some sort of enemy uh, we'll say this spider here cool now when we click on it it does damage to us to kill us so if we survive for 10 seconds we'll see what happens ah so two quests popped up that second quest we duplicated uh, we need to delete that uh, but there's our timed event after we survive for 10 seconds it says our quest is complete and it continues fantastic all right, so we'll go back to the rules. Uh, we'll get rid of the second quest. We don't need that one. Okay, so now what happens if we die? So we'll go up to this creature here who will now kill us. And we died and respawned. The quest finished, but we don't have our game over screen. So let's go ahead to our global parameters, go to our controller go to our components and what we want to do is set a message on def and to tag it sends to uh, so we've just done avatar.died in both of these so when an avatar does die it sends a message somewhere uh, remember it needs to tag as well so we'll go ahead and put down a asset we'll get rid of all the default behaviors on it and we'll go ahead and add a defeat we're going to put a defeat message uh, and a tag defeat and now we're going to put down a another asset and we're going to give it a message broadcast we're also going to give it a toggle behavior we're going to turn that off and uh, we'll edit the logic and the message it will send um, is avatar died avatar died so make sure you add that tag it will require the message avatar died and when it does receive that it will send a message defeat and uh, we can have that as true and we'll go ahead and do that test now so when we die we die and there's your game over screen so just to give you a quick rundown of what happened. When you die, it sends the message avatar died to the tag. We set that to this message broadcaster, which is on. It has the avatar died. Avatar died is what it's listening for. It sends defeat, which goes to this one here and brings up the defeat screen. Now the reason we did these separately instead of just going straight to defeat uh, because you might not want to have game over when you're playing the rest of the map uh, only just specifically in this quest so you can have the initial start behavior as off you can have the message here to turn it on as quest.1 and now we can say bring down an NPC and for him we can say uh, we'll go to our quests here and we won't launch it automatically we will make it require a message and that message it will need is quest.1 to begin 
and we can make this asset here send that message. So when you interact with this uh, character, it will send the message quest.1. And you can make it only once, so it only sends that message one time. So now you can see the quest doesn't automatically pop up. When we speak to this character by pressing E, it has now popped up the quest. And now when we go and die, it brings up the game over screen. But if we don't talk to this character and start the quest and we die, As you can see, it doesn't bring up game over because we haven't started the quest. So this toggle here is off. So um, that's one way to use two different kill systems in the one game. Um, and yeah, so that's one. Next we can have a, let's make this one here, 10 health and no predator. And we'll go to rules and we're gonna change it from survival to defend and we want to defend the spider for 10 seconds so go ahead and test that out so now if the spider is alive for the whole 10 seconds the quest will complete and all is well um, but if you kill it the quest ends the spider is gone but there's no consequence so what we're going to do here is for the spider you can send a message when it dies uh, defeat to the tag defeat so um, that will go straight to the game over so now when we start the quest and we kill the spider instead of defending the spider it will go game over because we didn't um, defend it uh, same thing here you can send that message to this message broadcaster instead if you only want it to be game over if in that quest period so if we change this to avatar died to avatar died it means now when we kill it when we're not in the quest it won't give us the game over but when we kill it when it's during the defend quest it, we will get the game over so that's your little tricks to get the consequence needed for defending uh, or for surviving a time limit with inside the game maker. If you have any other questions or want to know more, please send me a message on Discord. Have a great day.